everybody, how's everyone doing? We're back. It is Thursday. Thursday, that's right. I uh, I just woke up from a nap not that long ago. I uh, finished my video, did a patron Q&A because um, I was late. I did not have one last week. So I'm just, I'm a little scatterbrained. But we're back. Um, the new video is out. I posted it about an hour ago. So um, it's, it's up and available to view. Um, but today we have some unfair KH trivia. I feel like my left eye is twitching. Um, this is by Mark Creation, and uh, I think it's 22, yeah, 22 questions, and um, we're going to see how unfair it really is. Um, I'm going to get the code up, and we have, we have some business to discuss. Um, this is not about how I'm mad at you. Um, if you watch at the end of the video, you'll see that I'm, I'm furious, but thank you, Frosty. Yeah, yeah, well, watch the video so Frosty can win the trivia. Be distracted. Um... Mark, do you want honest feedback? This is what we should do from back now on, actually, because, listen, I'll be honest. We've gotten some quizzes that are not good. If you go back in the VODs and watch, you can tell when I don't like them. But should we have a policy? Maybe when you submit the Blooket, there should be a third option, like, or not, not an option, but like a third field that says, I want honest feedback. Um, because if you don't, then I'll be nice about all of it. Okay. <laughs> Because I was thinking about this. Sometimes people are nervous for the trivia, and they're like, I, I hope people like it. I wonder if they'll like it. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's contingent on me as the as the streamer. Um, I, I want to be honest, you know? I want to be nice but honest. Oh, yeah, G Meister's seen it. So, uh, some other business we got to get to. It's Daybreak Your Knees! Um... We have a regular pad iceberg. I said we would do that um, the moment we had it available. The only thing is, I'm nearly positive that it will take up the entire time that I would um, I would be allocating towards com. So it's either we do that today, or we could save that for Tuesday, maybe, um, or we just finish out uh, GBA com. We could like run a poll. Um, part of me was thinking, you know, the iceberg might be a good day to do uh drinking <laughs> to drink um and i haven't eaten yet today so i don't think it's a good call to drink uh so i probably won't do that but we'll uh we'll figure that out as we kind of feel out the energy here yeah you could uh, you could vote i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna have hurt feelings regardless of what you want to do i'm down to do either i just think that uh either of them will take at least two hours um i have not eaten yet uh I ate last night. Uh, yeah, I ate last night. Did I? I don't know. I'm not hungry right now, so. Yeah, you gotta eat before drinks. Otherwise, uh, you get the heartburn. Um, can we get on a normal schedule? I wanted to. The whole idea was... Because I actually finished the video for patrons around noon yesterday, um, and I uploaded that, and then I went to sleep, but then I woke up for four. I went to go see my grandma. It was her birthday yesterday, and then I watched Survivor with my friends at eight. We played some games until 10. I was like, oh, this is perfect. I'm fucking exhausted. I'll sleep through the night. I'll wake up at like 7, 8 a.m. Woke up at like four, and then I was tired after doing my final cut of the video today with the credits and all the everything. Um, and then I recorded my patron Q&A, that took me a few hours, and then I was just tired again, so I took another nap. It's water! Ooh, water! water. <laughs> there you go. Um, look at that. Oh yeah, well, happy belated birthday, Jungle Wine. Um, my mom's birthday is actually today. She's, she's away. Uh, her and my dad went to the Bahamas. So, shout out to regular mom. Um, her birthday is my birthday divided by two, which I think is pretty neat. Um, what is this question? How many gift subs to release the 14-year-old? You know what, McGoffin? You'll never believe this. Also, I was 17 in that video when I did my first stand-up. You actually can watch it for as little as $5 <laughs> on, on the Patreon. Way to, way to really set me up so I could spike it. You literally can watch it if you pay me. Um, so, it's not... I don't know if it's worth $5, you know. Um, but it is there. Some people have said it's good. Um, people told me at the time it was good. I mean, I won the talent show. That's gotta, it's gotta mean something. PJ says it's not worth it. PJ is a patron, so. Our muggle says it's pretty funny. Um, Ruthie, what's going on? And Tucci Runner, thank you for the 20 months. 
The sub is almost legal to drink. Um, Alright, people want calm today. We'll do calm. And then uh, we could do the iceberg like before a game on another day, maybe. Or just make a whole day out of it. I don't know. Um, I had it ready, but I uh, will just... I'll, I'll actually give you a glimpse of it so you know like what we're looking at here. Because this is the first time I've... Like, I had to like get it in this tab to uh, like see what we're dealing with. But I'm not like deeply looked at anything. But this is the iceberg. And I love the pictures. <laughs> I love Young Pat at the top and Halloween Pat at the bottom. Um, but I think this will be useful for people who are new to the stream that we can uh, kind of you know explain all these running jokes that we reference constantly because I, I I can't imagine showing up at this point and like uh, even having any idea of what's going on. Um, so there you go. Um, we can do that maybe Tuesday. I gotta like schedule a day for it. I just got it last night and uh, I didn't know if we should jump right into it or not. Okay. Okay, the beard thing is not, like, everyone Everyone makes it seem like, oh, he kept the beard forever. I kept it for one day as a goof, and everyone was freaked out. Um, it's not that weird. It's not that weird. I thought it was funny. Um, racist buzz like, oh yeah, it's in there. Okay, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but like, <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's funny how upset the chat was. Because it's literally like, the hair was on my face like 12 hours ago at that point. I thought it was funny. I'll, I'll do anything for a cheap laugh. I know some people laughed and thought it was funny. Um, okay, it was it wasn't that good when it was on my face either. But I'm saying like it, it wasn't like it was like a decade old hair that I had preserved, you know. Um, you're right. I should have sold it. I should have sold it off. Um, <laughs> the thing that is Pat is now not Pat. We call that the abject. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh no, a couple of people on the internet think I'm a little weird. What's up, what else is new? Um, see, Barnabas says it was funny, and that's all that matters. I should've, I should've auctioned it off. You know there's some creeps out there who would've bought it. Um, I guess I will uh, put my code in and we'll get started. We've been here for about 10 minutes. Um, let's see, let's see. Play dot it. One one seven one zero four seven. I'll just be unfair, Pat, and uh, I gotta ban vodka. That's gonna be, I guess, part of the tradition in year two of trivia. Where is she? Bye. Uh, where's my giraffe? I can't take it. Where's my giraffe? I gotta put the fucking thing back in. One one seven. I might have to ban her again. She's gonna beat me. Oh uh, God. The woes of being a streamer. Oh my god, I have to put it in again? Look, it's just not working? I'll just be pat, I guess. You're having trouble connecting to the book? I'm banned? I banned myself? PJ the Fair. PJ the Fair and Courageous. Let me see. 1171047. I'm just gonna be Pat. Waste no time. Pat, we're having trouble connecting to the game right now? I don't get to play? It's not like there's a cap. It was at 40. Okay, well, unfair Pat's in there. I'll ban him. Um, I'm gonna ban the giraffe once I get in. I'll ban, I'll ban the giraffe now. Uh, <laughs> Is the giraffe on the iceberg? Um, I'm just Pat. I just can't do it. I'm just not allowed. Should I use my laptop? <laughs> like, I want to play. Play.blookit.com. Like, this is ridiculous. 1171047. It's me. Hi, it's Pat. No, I can't fit that. It's Pat. Okay. Alright, I'm in here. I gotta ban the giraffe one more time, I think. Oh, come on, Omasorbit. You're better than that. You're one of my good ones. <laughs> You're one of my good kids in class. Oh, but now I gotta reload. I might, I might have to give up on the giraffe. You can't, you can't, because I've already... Oh my god, I've locked myself out. I've locked myself out on both of my available devices. 
<laughs> give me give me a sec. I gotta maybe I open up a new tab on this computer and I just can't ban anybody for having the giraffe. I think I think I've screwed myself. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's a little unwieldy with uh, having to. I can oh yeah I can I can click back and forth between them without anything tabbing out. Okay. One one seven one zero four seven. This is ridiculous. All all you had to do was not take my my giraffe. We would have been started by now. Pat Mark three. Fitting. It's it's Mark Creations. Look it. All right. Who who won the giraffe for the day? Who won it? Bad hand. I mean that's that's not a that's not a giraffe. It's Fernibus. <laughs> Jaguars and giraffes, not the same animal. I guess I'll be this fucking penguin. All right, here we go. This is Mark Creations, unfair, KH, trivia. It's gonna be weird playing on my desktop. Oh God, um, probably. Which uh, Disney character appeared in KH1 but didn't have a high poly model until KH2? This is a low poly model, and that's a high poly model with a posable face. Oh, wait, we have a ton of time for this. Here's some honest feedback, Mark. Way less time. <laughs> Way less time on the questions. Um, I might even just advance it. I'm not going to wait for these two people. I'm sorry. Um, wow, it's not Jasmine. That's crazy. I don't remember her face moving at all. Um, so that's new to me. Let me just plug in my laptop over here. Sorry. This is what happens when I'm in the post-video phase. Um, really? Uh, that's crazy to me that uh, Jack doesn't uh, have, like, a movable face. Uh, he never does, like, a little expression of any kind. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't really remember it for Beast, either. I feel like I definitely remember it for Hercules. Um, and Jasmine's, like, in so little of the game. Um... Is this only like out in the field and not in cutscenes? I would I would think not because Clayton's only ever going to make that face in a cutscene. Um, doesn't he pog during KH one? Like, we're already stopping down on. Uh, we don't usually stop down uh, like this for anyone who's new. All right, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll figure this one out later. We'll we'll talk this one through later. Um, moving on to number two. Uh, hmm. Uh, Mena Suvari is the infamous voice actress for Aerith in Cage 2. When was the only other time she voiced her? Dissidio 12, Final Fantasy Explorers, Advent Children, or Crisis Core? Yeah, if we, you know, if we get to, like, that many people. I'll, I'll leave it to when the clock says 25, but then I'm going to skip. I'll leave it to 20 this time so everyone knows. Because I think these two people left are, like, not actually playing. Damn. Ugh, I was between Advent Children and Crisis Core. I just don't really know FF7 that well. Um, damn. All right, I am 0 for 2. Okay, number 3. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, at the same time. Uh, in which game did Sephiroth have two extra wings on his hips? We have Cage 2 on the right... Oh, fuck. I blew this. Wait. No. God. More honest feedback. Um, you, you, if you could have had the uh, KH1 on the left as an answer, I think that might have saved me from some confusion. Because um, the Sephiroth's the way that they're ordered. I don't know how I answered now. Okay, I got it. Um, I was like, my right, which is this guy. This guy has two little wings on his hips. But the right answer was on the left, so I was thrown off. Uh, all right, that's my first question I got right. Thank God. No, you're good. You're good, dude. You signed up for the honest feedback, so I'm... I'm him. <laughs> Number four. Uh... Sora was once briefly available in Disney parks as a costume character that you could take pictures with and get signed autographs during Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Which game was released during this event? Uh, GBA Com, KH1, KH2, or Recom? I'll let it go to 20. I think that's fair. Okay. Yeah, I feel like KH1, it was an unknown quantity. Nobody would really know or care about that, but 
by the time uh, GBA Com comes out, it's been you know two years. Um, hopefully, people recognize Sora. It's a shame because God, had I known that was a thing, I would have begged my parents to take me to get an autograph from Sora. Because are you fucking kidding me? When are you gonna get that chance again? Um, I guess in like some of the international parks, they have them show up. Or is that just like Donald and Goofy in their cage clothes? I don't know. But yeah, very very limited run there. All right, number five. Never again. <sighs> Got a manga question. Why does Rontis interrupt Demix's shower by repeatedly turning the switch on and off? He thought that Axel was in there and was pulling a prank on him. He's daydreaming and doesn't know what he's doing. He's curious what a switch is, or he was trying to turn on the light in the room but didn't know it was for the restroom next door. We got this, uh, a switch. <laughs> what the hell, Roxas? <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> That's fun. All right, it is. Ooh. He's curious what a switch is. He just doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know what a switch is. <laughs> well, apparently he knows what it is when he sees it. He knows what it's called. Um, how about that? I said red. I've gotten one correct. All right. Let's check in. Five in. Yeah, don't take that out of context. <laughs> what the silly little guy? Um, Shibigato, PJ, Oemu, Sir Oren, and Rivenfly. <laughs> Number six. Uh. Hmm. Which game did Melody of Memory reuse Xemnas' boss quotes from? Dream Drop, Days 2 or 3? Throwing a party, I sleep. Throwing a building at a teenager with clown shoes. Real shit. Yeah, classic. I I don't know, I have a gut feeling on this. Um. Damn. Oh, interesting. I thought, um, recording-wise we were talking. I said DDD, but I'm guessing that's not even near correct. Um, so the quotes themselves come from two end days. Like, obviously the audio recording is not coming from days. But you got both, uh, correct. Or if, if you answer days, you got it correct, so. Um, I guess, was I thinking of Sora then? I could have sworn they, they pulled Dream Drop quotes for something. Um, okay. I guess I was more in the headspace of, like, the audio, and I thought, well, I don't think it was 3, because I don't remember him saying the stuff that he says in 3 in Melmem. So I was between 2 and DDD. Dream Drop for Riku. Oh, Dream Drop for Sora and Smash. That's so weird. Okay. Number 7. Uh... In the Japanese version of Birth by Sleep, some models didn't have high-poly faces until the English version, such as Young Sora, Riku, and Kairi. What other character didn't use one in the game until the English release? Uh, no clue. I haven't spent a ton of time with the Japanese Birth by Sleep. Um, glad they changed it. They look like, like KH1. Alright. Yen Sid. Yen Sid. They couldn't afford a nice face for my boy Yen Sid? God, ridiculous. I said Snow White. <laughs> Alright. I feel like her face isn't that high poly, even when it is high poly. Um, which game was Monstro cut from, according to these unused portraits from the game's files? Recoded or Days? Probably the easiest one so far. I hope, unless this blows my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna let this go to 25. There you go. I mean, uh, I think having the uh, little red ribbon thing definitely gives it away if you weren't 100% sure. Alright, number 9. Oh my god. Uh, 
There's a glitch in BBS where there are two Kyries behind Aqua in this shot. This is due to the high poly model being left on screen while the or being left on screen while the low poly model is being used. What is the only version of BBS that this happens in? The 2.5 remix, the English version of BBS on PSP, the Japanese version on PSP, or BBS Final Mix on PSP. That's uh, crazy. I had no idea about this. Ooh, I got it. Um, and you know what? I kind of cheated because I zoomed in on this, and I was like, I can tell by the quality that it's definitely not the HD remix. Um, and I figured, well, we know that they didn't have the high poly models in Japan, in the at least in the original. So that kind of narrowed it down to the English one for me. Um, this proves that Kyrie wasn't lying. The Kyrie who had the flowers before meeting Aqua was the other Kyrie. I don't know. I think we need to look and see if they're both high poly or low poly Kyrie, and if they're the same poly amount, then she's still a liar. So, oh yeah, and the English quotes. Yeah. Wow, I really took a roundabout way to uh, figuring this out. Um, <laughs> there's no way to turn on English. Can you turn on English subtitles in the Japanese version? I, w I would doubt it. Uh, maybe if you modded it, but yeah, I'm like looking at the pixels and it's like, well, if you look the the language that the game is in, uh, is at the bottom of the screen. So, okay. <laughs> Number 10 it does have English voices. Ooh. Uh, this is a good one. Kyrie's grandmother tells the exact same story in KH1 and BBS except for one single line. Which of these sentences does she never say in BBS? And the true light will return, or sorry, and the true light will return. Do you understand, Kyrie? So listen, child, it's the world we live in now. Shout out to Catherine Beaumont. They're, they're touching tips. <laughs> they look, uh, this one looks uh, wrinklier. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see. Fuck. Oh man, I that was one of the ones that I ruled out. Um, I could have sworn that she says that in BBS. Oh no, why would she? Because she's already heard the story. Oh, that's so stupid. I'm so dumb. Yeah. Like, she already told her the story in KH1. If that's a real, like, legit event that happened, if that's that seemed like the first time she told her the story, so she wouldn't need to ask her if she understands again on the real lesson. Um, there you go. That's a good question. Um, we'll check in at 10. We got PJ, Sir Oren, Ribbonfly, Oimu, and Bathan. Number 11. Uh, not recycled from Cage 2. No idea. Which one of Axel's battle quotes in Recom was not recycled from Cage 2? Don't make me mad, it's not over yet, let the flames burn you, or I gotcha. I'm impatient, sorry! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't remember that being in Cage 2, let the flames burn you. Um, a little too metal for Cage 2 Axel. He's already mellowed out a bit by 2, so... Um, these other ones are a little a little less intense. Alright, number 12. Huh. Um... In what year, in D, uh, D23, did Mickey, Donald, Goofy, and Pete's voice actors directly reference the Kingdom Hearts series and even mention a Keyblade while in character during a live script reading? 2019, 13, 2021, or 2017? Um, I feel like... If it were uh, more recent, I would remember hearing about it. Wow. I just don't remember hearing about this. Um, but I was kind of not like super in the loop in 2019 um it was staying away from the from the internet <laughs> as much as i could regarding kingdom hearts um i said 2017 um looks like uh most of us did or a bunch of us at least um huh how about that i'm still not super in the loop no can you blame me can you really blame me though 13 oh god
Okay, what's the difference between these first two? Like an apostrophe? Oh man, I don't know, dude. Uh, this is what the model of the letter Hanero Jaroxas says in game, but what does the end game yellow text box say that it says? Uh, waiting at the station. Today, my friends, is the day we hit the beach. Money and no problemo, Hainer. Dear Roxas, please come to the station. I baked you a cake. Um, I have no clue. These are like all the same. <laughs> Meet at the station. Today's the day we hit the beach and don't sweat about the money. As opposed to what I said, which was meet at the station. Today is the day that we hit the beach and don't sweat about the money. <laughs> All right. Number 14. Uh... In GBA Com, the Org 13 bosses uh, had their battle voices done by random Japanese devs. These voices were kept in the English dub. But which Japanese voice actor returned to voice one of their characters again in future games? Tatsuya Kondo, Marluxia Vex and Lexius, Reiko Katayama, Larkseen, none of them, or... Uh, Keiji Fujiwara, which is Axel. <coughs> Let's see. Ooh, I got it. Um, I just thought this is this has got to be bait. Um, I don't really know any of the Japanese voice actors, but uh, I just thought that everyone's gonna if anyone's gonna come back, it would be the Axel one. So it's a major role. Yeah, good for good for that dev, I guess. <laughs> All right, fifteen. Uh, but not Recom. I'm gonna say that one. Who has battle voices in the GBA version of Com, but not in Recom? Zexian, Leon, Maleficent, or Iago? Got an awkward zombie comic. <clears throat> It's not like the organization pays us. He was doing the mail delivery minigame. Cute. Alright, let's see. Fuck! Ugh, I was between those two. Maleficent wouldn't make sense because she's only ever the dragon, so she's not making noises. Um, and then Zexion's not a fight in GBA com. So, um, Leon has battle voices in GBA, but not in Recom. That's crazy. I can't uh, hear them in either version in my head when I try to think about it. I can hear Iago. But I guess only in Recom and not in GBA. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay. Let's check in. 15. We fight Leon as like a little tutorial thing. Um, in Traverse Town. We got PJ, Oimu, Sir Oren, Daybreak. What the fuck? I'm in like 18th or something. Oh, I actually know this. I think. Yeah. In the Japanese version of KH1 before the US release, what was the music that played during the Chernabog boss fight? Destiny's Force, The Deep End, Squirming Evil, or Shrouding a Dark Cloud? Um, in the US release, we got um, Night on Bald Mountain, or Bear Mountain, depending on where you're looking. Um, Alright, this is, yeah, Squirming Evil. That's the song that plays for... Um, uh, that's for Disney bosses, yeah, which makes sense, because Chernabog does, you know, originate at least this version of Chernabog from Fantasia. Um, so typically, it's kind of weird, though, like, because Disney bosses that are, like, big, like, super-sized ones don't typically get Squirming Evil. They'll get Destiny's Force or the Deep End, like Giant Ursula or Oogie's Manor. Um, Squirming Evil they use on, like, Jafar 1, Ursula 1, Hades, um, Clayton and the... Is Clayton a Stealth Sneak? Is that Squirming Evil or Dark Cloud? Because Dark Cloud is what they use for Heartless ones. Um, but there you go. Number 17. <clears throat> yeah, Big Fish gets it in Cage 3. So dumb. Oh, God. Um. Hmm. 
How did Roxas escape from the guillotine in Wonderland in the Days manga? A giant Luxor comes and breaks the Queen's castle. Trickmaster shows up and causes a distraction. Roxas uses Reflectiga, and the blade blew up when it came down. Or Luxor challenges the Queen of Hearts to a game of cards to gamble for Roxas's life. Luxor and the Queen. The manga video? Maybe. Maybe someday. Damn. Ooh, that was, like, my last option, to be honest. Actually, no, I would have picked that before Reflect. Oh, never mind. I <laughs> I failed to uh, pause, but uh, there you go. Number 18. Uh, which one is Ventus? Uh, this is, like, I feel like I don't typically have trouble with this one. But for some reason, I think I got it. I'll give this five more seconds. Oh, fuck me. Really? God damn it. I thought Roxas just had a more angular face. No, of course that's Ven. Now that I'm now that I know it, of course. <laughs> what even is like like I feel like he has a pointier chin, like a more angular jaw. He looks older than Roxas here though. I guess like we don't like what's Roxas's canon age? Same as Sora, like fourteen? And Ven is older than that? I don't know. I feel like I've never seen this man in my life. Like, this doesn't feel like either of them. Yeah, so if Rox is 14, 15, I guess your jaw really angles out at 16. Um, they have the same fucking little hair swoopies. Oh, but wait, no. Roxas has this little extra one over here. <laughs> Number 19. Mm. Do you ever read a question like three times and you, you realize you haven't been paying attention? Um, in the original DS cutscenes of Days, they used models from KH1 and 2, but in the 1.5 movie, they used the updated models from BBS and DDD for the new cutscenes. Which character didn't use an updated model in the new cutscenes? Axel looks like a fish. <laughs> um, I got so lucky. Guys, I swear to God, I read this question probably three times fully, and I, I was like, oh, wait, Pat, you're not paying attention. You, you weren't listening to your inner monologue as you read this. Um, and then I went, uh, I don't know, C. And that's, that's how I got it. So sometimes that works. Number 20. Oh, God. Um... Out of these four KH2 NPCs, which one appears in both Twilight Town and Hollow Bastion cutscenes? No idea. Um, I took a shot in the dark here. Ba -ba -da -bum. Yeah, I guess other advice. This this just goes for like uh, question organization or like answers. But if you have like one, two, three, four, because I think I think you can randomize them on a question by question basis. Oh, cool, I got it. Yeah, he just seems like a guy that would exist in, in both worlds, you know? Um, you can just tell from his face. Alright, we'll uh, speed along to 22 here. We won't stop down for 20. Without cheating? Oh. Don't look at it? <laughs> oh, I accidentally tried to click on the wrong screen. <laughs> Without cheating, what is happening in this shot? You can look closer once you answer. One of the birds has a glitched eye texture. The glass on the window is slowly cracking. Oh, of course. I didn't even read all these. For some reason, I thought I remembered hearing about the window cracking, but that's a lie. Um, he's right in there. That's Sora in there. Um, yeah, and I, I've learned this too. I don't know why I didn't look at all the answers. I saw the glass thing. I was like, that's it. I don't know why. Um, seven frames of rocks has become Sora. That's crazy that they would even bother. That's neat though. All right, final question, 22. Oh, God. How many bones does Cage 2 Ursula's high-poly model have? He does have to, like, really, uh, like, wriggle around on the beach in that one scene. Um, yeah, wait a minute. Octopi, they don't have bones. 
<laughs> All right. Swedish poopsies, where are my bones? Here we go. Ooh, I got it by guessing. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, huh. Now, I'm not a math major. I'm trying to figure out how all these are correct. 269. So then it seems like I should have gotten credit. As should 15 of my my comrades here and not the others because i got it doesn't mean exclusively i'm confused if it's 269 then it should be green right but look at yellow what do you mean look at yellow mark says 269 it's also correct oh wait no it's not <laughs> it's, it says she has 269. <laughs> and I feel like I'm being, I feel like Vaga's gaslighting me in real time. It has at least 150? It is unfair trivia, so. Um, alright, whatever. Uh, you're agreeing with me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Alright, let's see. In third place, it's Esper. In second, it's PJ the Fair. And in first, it's Oimu. Uh, I got 16th. Um, and also on our leaderboard is Daybreak in 4th, Sir Oren in 5th, and for our top 10, what the fuck in 6th, SKB in 7th, Shibuya Gato in 8th, Secure Taco in 9th, and Fearful Z in 10th. There you go. Thank you to Mark, and thank you to everyone who played, and Nicole for winning. Um, let's see the report. It's gotta be low. It's gotta be, like, I'm gonna say 38. 47, okay. I just did bad, that's why I guessed low. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do the hurdle. Let me close out this other Ablooka tab here. And we'll switch over to the calm finale. I hope I hope so, at least. Um, let's see. What's here? Okay. Can you even hear that? I know what it is. I feel like I know what it is. No, wait. Oh, do I? It's the quietest little fucking string instrument, I think. It's a BBS song. Oh, God. It's like... It's like a resolution song. I feel like this is what plays when, like, Snow White is kissing the dwarves. <sighs> I wanted to say, um... It's not Tears of the Light. That was like my gut instinct. That's not it. And it's not. It's not ever after. We just had that. Fuck. Oh god, I know exactly what it is, and I don't know the name. If I had a like a list of the BBS songs, I'd be able to pick it out for sure. Uh, love. Um, heart. Is it Peaceful Hearts? That can't be it, but it's not even coming up on the drop down. I'm gonna try that. Fuck. Oh, God, and it plays in fucking Union Cross. Wait, is it, maybe is it a Dream Drop song? Is it, are we sure it's not Ever After? <laughs> we did just have that, right? It was Ever After. What the fuck? I thought we just had that. What did we just have? I gotta go back in like the last like four or five VODs and and see this. Because I could have sworn this was like, oh, the BBS song when Snow White's kissing the dwarves. No, I think that's Peaceful Hearts. And then Did we just have this? Ugh. God damn it. Vaka, Larkstein's Demise is not even the name of the song, I don't think. No. If you go to the Cage 3 soundtrack, Vaka wants it to be Cage 3 um Larkstein's Demise every time. And it's never going to be that. I don't think it's even officially... <laughs> let me let me look. Let me look at, like, disc six of the KH3 soundtrack. There is... Sorry, disc seven. There's the 13th struggle lurk scene. But there is no lurk scene's demise. It's never, it's never going to be that. Well, that's because that's, that's what Waterblock calls it on his rip of the, of the tracks that don't have titles. Um, they don't have official soundtrack releases. That's not the official name. It's just something that a guy called it. <laughs> That's all that it is. You're going to listen to a man? Come on. All right. Uh, we're going to end the VOD here and uh, switch over to GBA Con.